Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss how many diffusers you can or should put on a VAV box. Sometimes we're asked about how many diffusers we could put on a VAV box. Because diffusers cost less than VAV boxes, it's more cost effective to put a lot of diffusers on one box if you can. But the answer isn't as simple as dividing the airflow of the box out into how many diffusers you want to put on it. While that's part of it, what really sets how many diffusers you put on a VAV box is really about your zone layout. So let's say you have one big zone, like a conference room, and you have one 2000 CFM VAV box supplying the space, then you can put eight 250 CFM diffusers on it if you want. And this is actually a pretty common layout. But what if it's not one big space? What if you're serving 10 different offices? So let's draw our offices real quick. Let's say they all line a single hallway. Put our VAV box in. Draw some ductwork and the diffusers. And then connect them to the ductwork. And let's just say the thermostat's sitting in this first office. So this VAV box could supply all these offices, and if every one of the offices had, did the same type of work, like they're all working on the computer, you could put the thermostat really in any of the offices. Now it's doubtful that you could find 10 people who are comfortable all at the same time, but a general layout like this would be okay. But now the question is, what if one side, let's say this side, is on the perimeter? So let's label these offices A and B. So if the thermostat is in office A, let's look what happens in the winter. So let's say it's cold in the morning, the thermostat is in office A, it turns the heat on, and once office A gets up to temperature and gets comfortable, it turns the heat off. The problem is office B is on the perimeter and it's still going to be cold because it hasn't got up to temperature yet. Now let's look at what happens if the thermostat is in office B instead. So let's get rid of this thermostat in office A. So now our thermostat is in office B. When the room gets up to set point, it'll turn the heat off, but now office A may be hot because it's warmer in office A because it's not on the perimeter. So in a situation like this, let's draw these again. So in a situation like this, you're better off having one VAV box serving the perimeter side and all their diffusers and another VAV box supplying diffusers on the interior side. And then their thermostats would be controlled by their respective zones. So although it's more cost effective maybe to put a lot of diffusers on a VAV box, you need to look at the different zones in the layout so that you make sure all your occupants are comfortable. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.